that austerity is brought about by the banking crisis, created, as my colleagues have said, on Wall Street, not anywhere else. And who's paying for it? The poorest in Britain, the poorest all across Europe, and in the, the people of Greece are paying for it the harsh, hardest and the harshest at the present time. Let's be proud of putting forward an economic strategy that is about redistribution of wealth, that is about eliminating poverty, that is about giving everybody real opportunities in life. And the scale of the defeat means this is not the time for safety first or for turning back to what's comfortable or familiar. Because if we stick with the politics of the last election, we will lose the next. We must face this challenge head on and make a fresh start. I've had so many more chances in life than my mum and my grandma because of Labour's campaign for women's equality. The Tories are turning the clock back. We know David Cameron has a woman problem. Let's give him an even bigger one. <laughs> Let's elect our first woman. Millions have lost their emotional contact with us. How many times did you hear on the doorsteps, oh, my mum and dad did, and my gran and granddad did, and they'd never forgive me, but you know, I'm just not there this time. It's not just here in Stevenage that I heard that. I heard it in the Midlands, in the North, obviously in Scotland as well. That has got to change, and that is the change that I can offer. I would rather put the money into investing in lower class sizes than into new free schools, because I think that is a waste of money. It's bad value for money, and we've got to get the best possible education for our children. We've got to bring class sizes down, but the way to do it is not to, have some have argued, support the government's free school programme. As Shadow Education Secretary, I took the fight for that immediately. How can it be right to be spending money uh, in places where there are already surplus places and we're taking money away from constituencies where kids are in falling down buildings in classes over 30? That just cannot uh, be right. Set ourselves the task of eliminating poverty and inequality in Britain by investing in public services, investing in growth industries, investing in a sustainable economy. That seems to me a much better way forward than accepting the narrative of austerity. That's why I'll be on the march this afternoon. And if I support Trident renewal. Shame, some people say, and there will be big differences in our party on this, but I have to tell you how it is. Well, I think we need to renew our continuous at-sea deterrent because of the risks that we face in the world uh, that are changing more quickly. Who would have imagined what has happened with Russia, Ukraine, with ISIL, Iraq, Syria? We must protect our country. But I also believe if we want a, a world that is free of nuclear weapons, we must do that together. I have never been a unilateralist. I have been a multilateralist. Some of you won't like it, but I've got to tell you how it is.